folks. <laughs> What's that? Hi folks. Hi folks. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kat. This, what are you doing? Hi folks. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Kat. I'm a licensed and registered dietitian nutritionist and online nutrition coach. This is Coconut. You want to go? Okay. Bye. Today we are talking about something that I am super late to. This is kind of older news, but it's something that is still going on and it's still an issue in my opinion. I am not the best at keeping up to date on reality television. I don't think there's anything wrong with watching TV. It's a way to just kind of let your brain relax and chill. I just really don't watch TV. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I personally had no idea who this person was or ever watched the TV show that they were on. But we still need to talk about this because it's pretty wild. This might be triggering to you if you have an eating disorder, even if you haven't been like clinically diagnosed with it. So you might want to consider skipping this video. Just wanted to put that out there first. Everything in this video is 100% my opinion. This is for entertainment purposes. We're talking about a celebrity here, so we're just gonna use her name. However, please don't go over and antagonize or be mean or leave any kind of mean-spirited comments on any of her social media channels. That's not what this is about. The purpose of this video is to critique and use information that is currently out there and I will be providing my resources in the links below if you want to check those out yourself. So today we are talking about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member Teddy Millencamp and her nutrition program. So a couple months ago somebody really kindly tweeted me about this subject and about making a video on it and me being completely oblivious I just put it on my list as something to look into. Apparently though it was a pretty big topic going on around that time and I don't know how, but I missed it. Now, when I was gathering information for this video, I saw that Cruel World Happy Mind made a video about this um, back in the very beginning of November. I haven't watched it though, just because I didn't want to accidentally like hear others' information or their kind of critique on it and then accidentally kind of steal that. But I'm sure it's fabulous, as is her other content that she creates. So because of that and seeing that from a couple months ago, I kind of questioned myself if this was too late to talk about it, if anyone would be interested in this video. But I wanted to take a look at any updates because I hadn't really seen anything about this that was done after like November-ish time. And I wanted to look at this from a dietitian perspective. So that's what we were doing today. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of background. So this was really going on around late September, late October. So if you don't know who Teddy Millencamp is, she was a cast member of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills in seasons eight through 10. She was a champion equestrian before moving to LA, worked at some talent agencies, and eventually started business as an accountability coach. On her Instagram bio, she says that she is a certified nutrition slash wellness coach and trainer, but I can't find any information about where she is certified from. Generally, on someone's website, they are going to be proud of where they got their certifications from, and so they are going to list those on their website but I couldn't find it on hers. Now on a website, I don't know how legit this is, I'll leave it linked down below, but they said that on her Instagram, she stated that she's an American fitness professionals and associate certified nutrition and wellness consultant. So according to the AFPA website, people can get this certificate through an online course for $699. This is not a deep dive on that specific program, but through a quick Google search, I found that it was created or co-founded by two people. One has a Bachelor of Health Science at Clemson University and a Master of Science in Sports and Exercise Science at Iowa State University. And while those are pretty fantastic, that doesn't specifically give you a certification in or focused training in nutrition. It's related and supportive, but not the same. She does have a Master's of Science in Holistic Nutrition at Clayton College of Natural Health. Remember that place. The second co Founder, the other co-founder has this PhD from Clayton College as well. So why did I ask you to remember that? Well, the Clayton College of Natural Health was a non-accredited American distance learning natural health college that was based out of Alabama and it closed down in 2010. So Teddy's certification is from a place where the founders got their information, their education from a non-accredited college. Y'all, what? 
I'm gonna read this portion of the article because I think it gives a really good background of what was going on around that time. Earlier this week, <laughs> back a couple months ago, the program came under fire after social media influencer Emily Gellisland shared anonymous messages from former All In by Teddy clients claiming the program would restrict them to 500 to 1,000 calories a day and demand an hour of cardio daily. Land has continued to share several screenshots from these anonymous clients. One person alleged that when she added carrots to one of her meals, she was told that in the future it needed to be a green vegetable because carrots have too much sugar. She still has a highlights on her Instagram sharing tons of stories of all-in clients. Several other women allegedly told Land they were only allowed a cup of soup for dinner. In a statement to Today, Mellencamp further defended her program, saying that the suggested meal plan does not mention a specific calorie count. As a side note, you can still offer a 500 calorie diet and not say that it's 500 calories, like not put that information on. That doesn't mean that it's not an issue. Teddy said, our meal plans have evolved and our focus has always been clean, whole foods. There are a variety of nutritional food options on our menu. Nowhere in our suggested meal plan does it mention a specific calorie count, which Again, if you have a meal plan that's 500 to 1,000 calories, doesn't matter if you suggest it or not. She also responded to the claims of only allowing soup for dinner. We have found soup to be easy to digest in the evenings, which is why a lighter meal such as soup, salads, or veggie prominent dinners are encouraged while on the program. If they like actually genuinely prefer to have a lighter dinner, then that's something else. But just saying that you need to have this kind of light dinner such as soup, salad, or veggie prominent dinners like I'm all here for vegetables, but you can also add a whole lot of other things to that veggie packed meal. It doesn't have to be a light meal for it to be supporting your health. So in my opinion, her response didn't really make any difference in the accusations or the alleged information. And then also in Insider, former clients of ex-Real Housewife star Teddy Mellencamp's extreme diet program say they were limited to 700 calories, ate mostly soup for dinner, and had an hour of cardio each day. So there are a couple of screenshots that I wanted to share about that. In that article, they showed several pictures or screenshots of messages back and forth. So this person was sharing their weight and on there it says Teddy. I don't know if it was actually Teddy herself or one of the other coaches in her program, but they basically said that she was dropping her responsibilities for a man and not making smart decisions because they know why her weight went up. She probably just went out and like had dinner or something that was causing some water retention and so they know why her weight went up, um, but they're being really rude about that. In another screenshot, you can see where she sent her a picture of the soup and the coach asked if there was carrots or sweet potatoes in there and the person said no they're peppers and that other person said perfect just making sure which if they were having soup for a meal this is nothing that is not that's not appropriate for meal replacement that looks like a really sad meal and that looks like a delicious kind of snack but even for a snack I would probably add some extra stuff to it there is another screenshot about them going to San Diego this was pre-covid and everything but the coach it says Teddy said pack your scale no excuses you aren't a victim you're a fighter which there is no reason other than if you are like an athlete fighting at a specific weight and even then like you there there's we that's a whole nother thing. But if you are going out of town and you still want to support your health, do practices that promote your health and make you feel good, you don't have to pack your scale even at home. You don't have to jump on the scale one time in order to do things that make you feel good, that support your physical, mental, social, and emotional well-being. That's why I practice with a weight neutral kind of way. I really, it's not that I don't care about weight, it's that if you're doing practices that support your physical health and aren't harming any of those other aspects of health, then your weights will be at an appropriate and healthy place for you, period. 
So here we are now in 2021. As I mentioned, most of this kind of drama came to light in around October of 2020. So I wanted to see if there were any improvements, anything that made this program better since then. So on her website, there is a tab for programs. So when you click that, it talks about accountability, which they say is the quality or state of being accountable, an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility responsibility for one's actions. That might sound good at first, like yeah, it makes sense, but I see this in a way to kind of hold something over the clients. I see it as a way to shut people up and to shame them if they don't have the same results as someone else, regardless of how well they stayed along the program and followed everything. Because just because you eat the exact same way and train the exact same way as someone else doesn't mean that you're going to look like them. There are a lot of things that go into play. I'm actually gonna leave a link for something, a video here on YouTube called Poodle Science. It's one of my favorite videos and I think it does a really good job of illustrating just how wrong our approaches to kind of like fitness and health have kind of been and how we're just kind of framing everything on a very specific type of person and not really seeing those differences that are there that are supported by science. And this is something that I see some programs doing. It's a way of kind of shifting the blame if it doesn't work out as planned and as promised and as they gave this kind of vision and sold this kind of a dream of how your life would be after a program or after a nutrition thing or a physical activity thing like this. This is one of the reasons why I really don't like relying on stories and there is a time and place for stories. I think they can be really helpful and important in certain aspects, but overall, how somebody reacts to a program that is like regarding their health that doesn't mean that you're going to have the same response. Our bodies are different and that is what makes a kind of weight neutral approach very effective in supporting health. So moving into the program, step one is Jumpstart. That is $599. It says going all in begins with our signature two week Jumpstart designed to detoxify your body and reset your habits to a path of health and wellness. First off, detox is such BS because you're, remember we don't have to detox our bodies, our livers and our kidneys do a great job at that. As long as we are getting in water, we're getting sleep, we're getting generally nutrient dense foods, your body will handle the detox process just fine. All right, so detox for your body and reset your habits on a path of health and wellness. And your personal one-on-one -on -one accountability coach is there with you the entire time, cheering you on, checking in, and changing your lifestyle along the way. So you saw the pictures of some of the examples of the accountability coaching and I don't know, if somebody asked me those questions and we're always like, what are you eating? How, like, pack up your scale? I don't know, it just feels kind of shamey and that is my opinion. And we know that you can't shame somebody into health. It doesn't work, at least for long term. It's like, we're past that. We know in program development that shaming people in health did nothing to help long term. All right, step two is monthly and that is $3.99. After your successful completion of Jumpstart, you'll move on to our monthly program designed to continue the full accountability you crave, but with a slightly more relaxed menu, slightly more relaxed menu. So you are, it's, it's, uh, we are here to keep you committed to your goals while hammering down those good habits so you're eventually comfortable going off on your own. All right, so then you move into step three, which is weights and workout. That is $165. Proceed with our weight and workout program after both completing at least six weeks in the all in and getting within a range of your initial goal. This section allows for a level of personal accountability while still incorporating and improving upon the tools and knowledge you have have begun developing during the monthly routine. As the name suggests, a daily check-in of weight and cardio is what's required. While your coach is there for high fives and helpful hands with little daily accountability push, empowering you to, how is this empowering? This is still going on. This is still what they are offering. You do not need to do car, 
Y'all, okay, I'm not a personal trainer. I used to be a certified personal trainer. My major was kinesiology, but I wanted to be able to do more in nutrition. And so that's kind of why I decided to focus 100% like on the nutrition piece and get like as good as I can in it. You don't have to do cardio for one hour a day. You would think that they would be promoting more of like weightlifting or something. Actually, I don't want her to offer that because I feel like people can get hurt <laughs> if that was part of this program. But just in general, I don't know. If you enjoy doing cardio every single day for an hour, then do it. But so they do have that daily check-in of weight. That is not something that I recommend. It's just, again, going back to what is the purpose of the weight? If you are doing things that are sustainably supporting your physical, mental, social, and emotional well-being, who cares what the scale says? Really, because, again, and you can't have the argument of like, well, what if somebody is, you know, like at a place where they're really not healthy, well then they're probably not having the sustainable actions that support their health. And so it really kind of allows for us to step away from the scale and focus on things that we can do sustainability wise that do support your health. And so I, I just hate the idea of this daily weight checking. And I myself was in a weight class sport previously. And so that was an important piece, but that's a whole nother thing and that's not what this program is about. It's not like talking about wrestlers. It's it's not about that. All right, so step four, I'm getting comfortable. Step four is maintenance, which is $95. It says complete your journey on our maintenance program. Once you have achieved your goal and mastered the skills, tools, and knowledge to maintain, this step in the program is designed to solidify your commitment to health and wellness. With simple check-ins and monitoring, it's just the right touch of accountability you need until you are ready to graduate. And then they have the all-in jumpstart kickstart. $250 for a week. And it's not even a full week, it is five days. Y'all, <laughs> like what am I? Is this what it takes to make good money? Just like have programs similar to this with scammy practices? I'm not gonna do that, but I'm just saying like, it's just, it's not fair. All right, so for returning clients only, our all-in Jumpstart Kickstart is a five-day program meant to help you reaffirm and relearn what it takes to be all-in for your life. So they're talking about before how you're going to have everything because remember that maintenance, they said it's designed to solidify your commitment to health and wellness. Well, just kidding. You're going to need to do this other thing. You don't need to, but I'm sure it's recommended. I mean, it's on the list at least where you reaffirm and relearn what it takes to be all in in your life. If you've lived the all in lifestyle before, but you have gone a bit lax in your habits, this kickstart can quickly get you back on track. So that whole total, everything comes out to $1,258. Why are people spending their money on these things? I know why, I know why. Because the marketing around this is very much steeped into emotional, kind of like the stories, the idea. This is something that is common in a lot of even nutrition MLMs is like the idea of stories tell, no, facts tell, stories sell. Facts don't matter. <laughs> Stories are what matter when it comes to marketing, especially for nutrition, which blows my mind. It makes me so frustrated because stories do not give the appropriate information that we need in order to make good decisions about doing a nutrition program. And there's also a lot of marketing around fear, kind of fear-based marketing as like, this is how your life is so terrible and this is the direction that it's going and this is how amazing your life will be, but you only have so much time, like this is not gonna be forever, you're gonna run out, your life is gonna be terrible. Like it's either that fear-based marketing or that emotional kind of story-based marketing. There's also a four-week postpartum program for five $125, just what somebody needs to spend on after they have a baby, because that is healthy. That's not toxic at all. Remember what our Beachbody coach said, the dieting industry is not toxic. It's just how we think about it that's toxic. So she also has a cookbook with clean ingredients, 
If you've watched my other videos, you probably know how I feel about that term. Basically, it, it doesn't give the idea, it doesn't support that food neutrality piece that is a really important part of building a healthy relationship with food. It allows us to kind of take food off this kind of pedestal. It allows us to really see the nuance in food and be able to make choices based off that. And you might be thinking like, well, we already know how like Diety, her program is, maybe she's totally cool with not having or promoting having this healthy relationship with food. But the thing is that she's still using terms like relationship with food. So this is another good example of programs using buzzwords that are really popular right now in the industry and using it to disguise and just kind of get on the bandwagon of having that healthy relationship with food, which unfortunately like it has hit mainstream, but in a way that is still really sneaky and still really not what the intentions were originally. It's a way of making diets a little bit more palatable and making them attractive overall. It's something that I mentioned in my intuitive eating video and also in my video about the top signs of dieting scams. All right, so continuing on, going to the FAQs, there's a question of what are the menu slash nutrition guidelines for the program? And Teddy mentions that every person has different needs and different goals. We focus on clean eating and figuring out what works for each individual. There are a variety of nutritional food options on our menu. We have found that clients do best following a simple menu in the initial stages. We allow lean, clean proteins throughout the program and we encourage clients to eat balanced meals. Protein rich veggies are a large part of our plan. It's all about tailoring a program to meet each client's goals and needs for a healthier lifestyle. Literally saying they're taking the nutrition foundation and they are tailoring it to the individual to meet each client's needs for a healthier lifestyle. So they are doing like individual meal plans, right? Like that's, that's what this is, that's what they're saying right here. Remember that. <laughs> So it says our basic jumpstart menu, which covers the first two weeks of the program is 1100 calories to 1200 calories per day. It takes at least two weeks to build a new habit. After the first two weeks, the calories recommendations increase to maintenance levels. Are they maintenance levels? Because if they were truly maintenance levels, then people wouldn't be continuing to be seeing that change in weight. So no, it's not maintenance levels, but Going on, they say that we coach on how to prep food, how to plan ahead, and how to use food as fuel instead of reward or punishment. We encourage clients to eat healthy breakfast, morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, and dinner. We work with each client based on their needs. So again, they're affirming that. And we encourage that the lightest meal of the day be dinner. This is about lifestyle change. It's not a fad diet. Just because you say it is not a fad diet and you're not focusing on a specific kind of food like celery or cabbage or something like that, if you are having two weeks where the intake is 1100 to 1200 calories, which is well below what a human adult needs, you can still argue that that is a fad diet. A fad diet is a diet that is popular for a time similar to fads in fashion without being a standard dietary recommendation and often promising unreasonably fast weight loss or nonsensical health improvements. I don't see the difference here. Another question asks, what type of workouts do I need to complete? We require 60 minutes of activity each day, seven days a week. So all of the things that we talked about, those screenshots, it lines up with this. It can be a combination of jogging, spinning, or an occasional hot yoga. If you are getting just back into it or on slower days, it can be walking, pushing your kids in a stroller, hiking, or elliptical. Start at your own pace and we just ask you continue to improve each day. Part of what sets this program apart and why clients are successful is because it has established parameters. We are not doing our jobs to hold you accountable to daily activity if you are not doing daily activity. The component of this program is one of the main reasons people are signing up. Everyone should be getting activity in every day and we've seen that people feel better when they do. As adults, we sometimes think that we no longer need that physical activity, but it not only helps the body, but resets the mind. We want our clients to have non-scale related victories and daily activity is one of those. 
So again, I'm not currently still a personal trainer, but I do remember that there are those kind of set recommendations. You can get substantial health benefits from 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity activity or 75 minutes per week of vigorous activity or a combination. And you can have additional benefits for twice that amount, 300 minutes per week of moderate intensity activity or 150 minutes per week of vigorous activity or combination. But then you also have resistance training, two or more days per week of moderate or high intensity involving all major muscle groups. And so this is not even in line with that. If you're a current trainer or a professional coach in that manner or you know in school for kinesiology, let me know how you feel about that or outside of that. Just let me know your thoughts on that in addition to this whole program. My biggest concern with that, like outside of it being not the overall recommendations is that 1100 calories to 1200 calories is not enough to support that work. It's not enough for that level of activity. With intake that low, with having diets that low, like just in general, regardless of if you were doing this additional work, this additional cardio every single day, that can harm your metabolism. It can have negative impacts on your hormone health, on your bone health. It can have impacts on just how you're thinking, how you're able to do mental work throughout the day. That is not a level of intake that I would recommend for anybody to have when they are just living <laughs> and much less when they're doing this level of activity, which is really harmful in my opinion because if you are knowingly giving that much amount, even for two weeks, that is still impacting their health in a way that I would not ethically be okay with doing. Okay, so they have a question of, do they promote daily weigh-ins? They make the scale part of the program because the daily weigh-in is something that they have learned that works for their clients because it gets them excited about working towards their goals and helps them, helps keep them accountable, which I, again, not a fan of that, not a fan of having weight-related goals. and. I don't know if I've ever been excited to do a daily weigh-in. Uh, when I was weighing myself consistently, when I didn't have a healthy relationship with food, it was not something that was exciting. It was just something kind of compulsive. It was something that kind of I had to do in order to make sure that I was still like being good and that I was still healthy. I don't know of anybody who has really seen that as something that's Exciting? I don't know. They do say that the scale is not for anyone. If it triggers you, then this program is not for you, which <laughs> at least they say that. But at the same time, there are a lot of people who say that things like that don't harm them when they actually are being harmed by those things. Like there's, <sighs> if it's really a challenge for you, and this is kind of going along the lines of like recovery and kind of getting through habits that aren't healthy, um, habits that are kind of disordered eating. There are ways that your brain can kind of trick you in saying like, this is for my health. This is what I need. This is not harming me. There's that spectrum of where that person is in their relationship with food. And just because someone says that weighing in daily is like fine for them, doesn't mean that they have any issues with it, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that they can't also be experiencing disordered eating. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically what I'm trying to say is just because someone says that it's not a problem doesn't actually mean that it's actually not a problem and that it's not harming that person. Okay, so moving on in their FAQs, it says, are your coaches certified? Our coaches do not carry any fitness, medical, or health certifications. Each coach has completed the accountability program and lives this lifestyle. We are here to hold you accountable to your own fitness, health, and wellness goals. Our coaches provide you with a personal one-to-one -one support, guidance, and tools to help you achieve those goals. We truly believe that the lived experience makes all the difference. We practice what we preach and it isn't about certifications. If you are looking for coaches with certifications, then our program is not for you. But if you want a helpful, supportive accountability coach, you're in the right place. So for over $1,200, you're getting coaching from a non-certified coach. They're legitimately not a coach at that point. 
So how do you become an accountability coach? So each of their coaches are hand selected by Teddy after completing the program and successfully incorporating it into their daily life. They do not hire coaches who have not completed the program. If you would like to complete the program, please fill out the questionnaire. Please know filling out the questionnaire doesn't guarantee you a coaching position, all of that. So they're just talking about accountability, right? Like nothing that would require a certification, right? Remember what we talked about earlier about how they were doing individual kind of things? It's about tailoring a program to meet each client's goals and needs for a healthier lifestyle. That's not just accountability. You can't have both. You can't say that your nutrition program is individual and also at the same time say that it's it's just accountability. Like that's all we're offering so we don't need certifications. Like make that make sense. That is the biggest red flag. I don't, I don't even know if it's the biggest red flag. There are so many red flags in this program, but that right there is such a huge red flag. The fact that on the same web page, it literally contradicts itself. And of course, on her website, she also has before and after pictures. By nature, these aren't transferable to everyone. Just because somebody had this experience, one, doesn't mean that you're going to, and two, doesn't mean that they're continuing that long term. So overall, doesn't really look like the program has updated. They have, it looks like, provided more information on the website from the FAQs part. Maybe added a couple hundred extra calories to get it up to that 1200 still under what I would recommend consuming, still not a program that I would ever recommend for somebody to do. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you have not already. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, be sure to check that out. I am putting more energy into Instagram this year. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. All right, bye.